challenge. Ask him the questions and more virgin. Hello and welcome to University Challenge, where two more teams are about to play their first match in this year's competition. At this stage in proceedings, a win will see them straight through to round two, but a decent losing score will still leave the door open for qualification via the repechage at the end of the round. Southampton was the first university to receive its royal charter from Queen Elizabeth II in 1952, 90 years after it first opened its doors as the Hartley Institution. It was a founding member of the Russell Group of Research-Intensive Universities and can name the athlete Roger Black, the computer scientist Wendy Hall and the naturalist Chris Packham among its alumni. Last year's team achieved the university's best ever result in this competition by reaching the semi-finals, where they lost to the eventual series champions, Durham University. Let's meet the four. We'll be hoping to go even further this year. My name is Elise Harrington. I'm from Vancouver, Canada, and I'm doing a PhD in geochemistry. Hi, my name is Rhys Council. I'm from Bangor, Northern Ireland, and I'm doing a PhD in neutron star physics. And their captain? Hello, I'm Roshana Wickramasinghe. I'm from Watford in Hertfordshire, and I'm studying for a PhD in education. Hi, I'm Chris Merriath. I'm from Horsham in West Sussex, and I'm studying for a BSc in mathematics. Founded by Henry VIII in 1546, Christchurch Oxford is unique among higher education institutions in that it is both a university college and an Anglican cathedral, the seat of the Bishop of Oxford. It also has its own art gallery containing over 2,000 drawings and paintings, largely by Italian masters. It's educated 17 archbishops and 13 British prime ministers, and more recently, the journalist Marina Hyde, the actor Riz Ahmed, and the composer Howard Goodall. Let's meet the team playing on its behalf tonight. Hi, I'm Eliza Dean. I'm from Edinburgh, and I'm studying classics and French. Hi, I'm Malika Gorgiana. I'm from Leeds, and I'm reading for a PhD in astrophysics. And their captain? Hi there, my name is Arthur Watton. I'm originally from Cardiff, and I'm reading for a PhD in Spanish. Hi, I'm Elliot Lowe, I'm from Thames Ditton in Surrey, and I'm studying classics. You all know how this works. All eight of you are on the buzzer for starter questions, which you have to answer without conferring. A correct starter question is worth 10 points and a set of three <laughs> bonus questions, which you can tackle as a team. Fingers on buzzers, then. Here is your first starter for 10. Writing in his Italian journey of what building did Goethe say, until you have seen it, you can have no adequate conception of what man is capable of accomplishing. Southampton Wickremer Singer. The Colosseum. No, and I'm afraid you lose five points. Above one's head and before one's eyes is living evidence of what one man has done. The building in question bears the name of the Renaissance Pope who commissioned it. Christ Church Watton. The Sistine Chapel. It is the Sistine Chapel, yeah. And your bonus is Christ Church, are three questions on trilingual inscriptions. Crucial to the decipherment of cuneiform script, the Behistun inscription is a rock relief carving commissioned by which Persian ruler in power from around 522 to 486 BC? I need only the regnal name. Um, I was thinking either of those. Should we go Xerxes? I'm not sure. Yeah. Uh, Xerxes? No, it's Darius I or Darius the Great. Next, erected by the Chinese Admiral Zheng He in the early 15th century and written in Chinese, Tamil and Persian, the Gaul trilingual inscription is displayed in the National Museum of which country? Not sure. India. Gaul's in Sri Lanka. Finally, the degree of Canopus and the Rosetta Stone are among trilingual inscriptions issued by successive Egyptian pharaohs who all bore what regnal name? Ptolemy. Ptolemy, yeah, that's a decent one. Uh, or is it? Yeah, probably Ptolemy. might be it. Not it's got Greek on it and okay. Ptolemy's with Greek. Uh, Ptolemy? It is Ptolemy, yeah. <laughs> Let's have another starter question then. What form of notation is used to describe how quickly the upper bounds of functions increase as their arguments tend towards infinity, being commonly used in computer science to classify algorithms by speed. Southampton Meredith. Big O notation. It is the big O notation, yes, correct. <laughs> Your bonus in Southampton then are three questions on a 19th century novel. Edward Kasserbaum and Will Ladislaw are the first and second husbands of the heroine of which novel? This novel was set in the 1830s, approximately four decades before it was written. Any ideas? What were the names? <laughs> when was like it's a good question. Or or... Yeah, yeah. but that's isn't it? Tess of the Durbervilles, maybe. I don't think so. Tess of the Durbervilles. No, it's Middlemarch. 
The words, I am the son and heir of nothing in particular, are an adaptation of a sentence in chapter 12 of Middlemarch and are from the opening lyrics of which song by the Smiths? I'm, uh, I am human and... Um... How soon is now? Pardon? How soon is now? How soon is now? How soon is now? You can sing it as long as you want to <laughs> the answer, yeah. How soon is now is correct. Uh, finally, Middlemarch opens in 1829, three years before which act of parliament that introduced major changes to the electoral system, heralded by much of the novel's plot? The Great Reform Act? Yeah. Reform Act. Great Reform Act? I'll accept that, yes. The representation of the people actually is the Great Reform Act, 1832. Another starter question then. What two word French term denoting a particular character archetype is the title of a 1991 book by Mary Ann Doan, which discusses examples in film including Rita Hayworth's Gilda, the Oxford Dictionary of Film Studies. Southampton Wickram a singer. Femme fatale. It is femme fatale, correct. <laughs> Your bonus for Southampton are on winners of the annual John Maddox Prize, which recognises the work of individuals who stand up for science and evidence. Okay. The 2022 John Maddox Prize was won by the biochemist Dr Eukarya Oluchi Noechi for her research into ways to detoxify which river delta in West Africa's largest oil producing region? Niger, maybe? Niger? Yeah. Niger? Niger? It is the Niger Delta, correct? Second, the 2017 prize was won by Dr. Rico Muranaka, recognising her work, championing the use of evidence in public discussions of the HPV vaccine. For what do the letters HPV stand? Human papillomavirus. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Human papillomavirus. Correct. Finally, one of the joint winners of the 2020 prize was which US government health advisor, the director of the US National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases from 1984 to 2022? Okay. Oh, yeah. Fauci? It was Fauci, yes. <laughs> Another starter question there. For your picture starter, you're going to see an extract from the opening lines of The Great Gatsby with a number of words highlighted. For ten points, I need the precise two-word term that describes the tense and aspect of the verb form highlighted. Southampton Wick Rimmer Singer. The past historic? No. Christchurch Dean. Perfect indicative? No, it's present perfect. Indicative is a mood. Take your picture of bonuses when you uh, get a start to write. Let's see if you can get this one. Now divided between two countries, which island was the birthplace of the ornithologist John James Audubon, the Hollywood actress Maria Montez, and the musician and member of the Fugees Wycliffe Jean? It was so named by Chris... Southampton Meredith. Hispaniola. It is Hispaniola. For well, picture bonuses following those lines from The Great Gatsby, here are three more extracts from well-known works this time in Romance languages. In each case, name the tense of the highlighted verb or verbs. First, from Don Quixote, a single word answer is enough here. Que vivia, that lived. Is it past? Yeah, it's not just going to be past. Perfect. perfect, yeah, perfect. It's imperfect. Oh. Second, from the Count of Monte Cristo. Um, oh, this is the one that they don't really use anymore. <laughs> is that the past historic? Past historic? It is the past historic. <laughs> Finally, from the libretto of Mozart's opera, The Marriage of Figaro. <laughs> what did we say? Did we say perfect and it was imperfect? Or did we say imperfect yeah. and it was no, perfect? No, the first one was imperfect, so maybe go for that one. So we're saying imperfect. No, perfect. 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 Anyone no. else got anything else? No. 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 Perfect? Nice no, try, but it doesn't work like that, no. <laughs> it's, that was the future. Let's have another starter question. Weighing almost 600 kilograms and with a name believed to derive from the Carib word for breast, what mammal of the order Cyrenia? is found in the tropical and subtropical... Ah. Christchurch Watton. Manatee. It is manatees, yes. <laughs> Your three bonus questions, Christchurch, are on bathing in mythology. According to a Hindu myth, which god was created by the goddess Parvati from the dirt that rubbed off her body as she was bathing? Shiva cut off the child's head and replaced it with that of an animal. Ganesh, should we say? Because it's like an animal on an elephant's head, maybe? Ganesh? I don't know. Uh, Ganesh. It is Ganesh, yes. Next, when Izanagi bathed in the sea, deities such as the sun goddess, moon god and storm god emerged from his body. Izanagi's bath is the origin of ritual purification practices in what religion? Shintoism, maybe, because it's Japan. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Shintoism. It is Shinto. Third, according to one version of a Greek myth, the hunter Acteon accidentally saw which goddess bathing. She changed him into a stag and he was killed by his own hounds. Yeah. Uh, Diana. I'll accept Diana, yeah, Artemis or Diana's correct. Yeah, very good, well done. <laughs> Another starter question then. The name of what academic discipline follows donut, edible and pork? Southampton, Wickram and Singer. Economics. It is economics, yes. 
Your bonuses, Southampton, are on national parks in Africa. Established in 1925, Virunga National Park is home to a large proportion of the world's endangered mountain gorilla population. In which African country is it located? Rwanda. Rwanda? Rwanda. Yeah, Rwanda. Rwanda? No, no, it's the DRC, Democratic Republic of Congo. Second, in which West African country is the Penjari National Park, named for the river that forms much of its border with Burkina Faso to the northwest? Faso to the northwest, that would be uh, Benin. Benin? 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 It is Benin. Benin. Third, covering 10% of Botswana's land area, Africa's second largest game reserve is in which desert? It is traditionally home to the San Bushmen, who have been subject to forced relocations by the national government. Benin. Or Kalahari. Benin. Well. I don't think Benin. it's Kalahari. I think it's the first one. Can I nominate you? Yeah. 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 Nominate Meredith. Namib. Bad luck, it's Kalahari. Yeah. Another starter question then. A bronze sheet known as the Hand of Irulegi is inscribed with writing thought to be the oldest known text in what language? Dating to the late Iron Age, it was discovered in 2021 near Pamplona in Navarra. Christchurch, what's it? Basque. It is Basque. Your bonuses then, Christchurch, are on British sculptors of the 20th century. In each case, name the person from the description. Born in 1903, her abstract sculptures are examples of direct carving an approach that champions spontaneous response to the raw material and its qualities over a preconceived model. Um, Barbara Hepworth. That's right. Second, a Jamaican-born sculptor who worked mainly with wood and was inspired by the Egyptian sculptures at the British Museum. In the 1960s, the Caribbean artists' movement showcased his works, which include a bust of his brother Harold, a prominent civil rights activist. Um, no, I can't do um, yeah, We don't know. It's Ronald Moody. A multi-award winning sculptor born in Mumbai, known for artworks using concave and convex mirrored surfaces, blood red sculptures in wax, and controversially, the material Van to Black. Yeah, Anish Kapoor. No, um, uh, Anish Kapoor. That is Anish Kapoor. <laughs> and another starter question. I need a two word term here. Cormac McCarthy, Carson McCullers, and Flannery O'Connor are often cited as authors in what style or tradition of American literature, over which, according to the Oxford Research Encyclopedia of Literature, William Faulkner, Arguably looms the largest. Bryce Churchlow. Dystopian horror? No. Anyone? Have a go? No? I'll tell you, it's Southern Gothic. Let's have another starter question then. In 1646, Sir Thomas Brown was the first to use what word in English, coined from the Latin for like amber, to describe a phenomenon associated with the accumulation or motion of charged elementary particles? Ah. <laughs> Christchurch, what? Electricity. It is electricity. <laughs> Your bonuses, then, Christchurch, are on a research company. Nine Nobel Prizes have been awarded for work linked with which US company, formerly associated with telecommunications and named ultimately for an inventor born in the 19th century? Tesla? 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 No, it's Bell. Bell Labs. The Bell Labs researchers Arno Penzias and Robert Wilson received the 1978 Nobel Prize in Physics for their serendipitous discovery of what form of radiation from the early universe? It's cosmic microwave background radiation, CMB. Um, nominate Gorgiana. Is it cosmic microwave background radiation? It is. You can tell who's the astrophysicist here, can't you? Uh, Bell Labs' Arthur Ashkin shared the 2018 Nobel Prize in Physics for his invention of the optical counterpart to what common household device? Ashkin's invention uses laser beams to hold and move atoms, molecules, and other microscopic objects. Common household item. Um, I was thinking that, but I feel like it doesn't use lasers. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Should go for it? Yeah. A television remote? No, it's tweezers. <laughs> Five points in it. Another starter question. For your music starter, you're going to hear a piece of popular music. For ten points, please name the artist. Southampton Wickrammer singer. Jimi Hendrix. Of course it's Jimi Hendrix. Yeah, from the Jimi Hendrix experience. For your starter, you heard part of the song Are You Experienced, which notably contains a recording of a guitar solo that is played backwards on the record itself. For your music bonuses, you'll hear three more pop songs that use this recording technique. Name the band in each case. First, this glam rock band. The T-Rex. 
Yeah. This one's like moving move, move the end of the pool. Do you think T-Rex? Yeah. T-Rex? It is T-Rex. Secondly, this band. Men. Are you sure status quo? No, just... I do think it's status quo. Come on. The Kinks. No, that's the Who. Finally, this band. Sounds a bit more modern. Yeah. Like Red Hot Chili Peppers. Yeah. Yeah, it no, is. Yeah, yeah, it is. No, Red Hot Chili Peppers. It is Red Hot Chili Peppers. Well done. Another starter question. Along with the Helu Land and Mark Land, what name was given by Leif Erikson to one of the three regions he explored in North America? Uh, Franz Church Lowe. Vinland. It is Vinland, yes. <laughs> three bonuses on the Japanese actor Takashi Shimura, who appeared in more than 200 films. In 1954, Shimura played Dr. Yamane in which kaiju film directed by Ishiro Honda? Um, we don't know. Godzilla. In the same year, Shimura played Kambei Shimada in which drama, set in 1586, in which a village seeks protection from bandits? I'm sure that no, neither. Um, yeah, any, any guesses? Um, yeah, we, we don't know. That was a Seven Samurai by Kurosawa. Shimura's 21 appearances in films by Akira Kurosawa also include which 1950 film which recounts a samurai's murder from four contradictory perspectives? Oh, the only Kurosawa one I know is the Macbeth one, but it's not that. Do you know, um, do you know what it's called? No, this one called... No, never mind, I don't okay. know. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, sorry, we, we don't know. Japanese cinema, not your thing. Yeah. <laughs> no, not. That was Rashomon, bad luck. Another starter question. The world's first substantial copyright law, the flagship of the pirate Blackbeard, an annual horse race runner Ascot, and the capital of the state of Maryland are all named after uh, which... Bri Franz Church Watson. Queen Anne. It is Anne, yes. <laughs> Three questions for you, Christchurch Church, on officially designated overseas departments of France. Two French overseas departments lie in the Lesser Antilles, separated by the island of Dominica. For five points, name both. Guadeloupe and Martinique. Uh, Guadeloupe and Martinique. Correct. Réunion lies in the Indian Ocean to the southeast of Madagascar. Which French overseas department lies Mayotte. to the northwest of Madagascar, near the Comoros Islands? Mayotte. It is Mayotte. Which French overseas department contains the former penal colony of Devil's Island? French Guiana. Uh, French Guiana. French Guiana is correct. Another side of question. <laughs> A member of the cashew family, which widely cultivated tropical fruit has varieties including Caesar and Alfonso that are among... <laughs> Price Church Water. Mango. It is the mango, yes. <laughs> Absolutely delicious. Your bonuses, Christchurch, are three questions on abandoned plans to invade Britain. Which Roman emperor planned an invasion of Britain in AD 40, but abandoned the idea and, according to the historian Suetonius, ordered his troops to line up on the beach and gather seashells? Yeah, Caligula. Yeah, Caligula. Um, yeah, Actually, what you saying? Yeah, Caligula. Yeah, OK. Um, Caligula. Correct. Second, a collapsible, transportable wooden town covering over 400 hectares was among the preparations made by which king of France to invade England in 1386, encouraged by his uncle Philip the Bold. His army was later crushed at the Battle of Agincourt. Oh. oh. It's, 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 it's the king, the one who had the delusion that he was made of glass. I'm not sure. Um, was it... Oh, was it Philip yeah, but Philip the... It's a number. Um, <laughs> Philip the Second. Now you're onto it. It's Charles the Sixth or Charles the Mad, yeah. Okay. Third, the name of what pinniped mammal was the code name for the planned German invasion of Britain in 1940? Sea lion. It is Operation Sea Lion. <laughs> well done. Well, the start question then. In 1791, the Cornish clergyman William Gregor discovered which Group Four transition metal in the mineral ilmenite. Four years later, the German chemist Martin Klaproth found the same element in rutile, naming it after the children. Southampton Harrington. Titanium. It is titanium. Yes, correct. <laughs> Your yeah, bonuses, Southampton, then, are three questions on metals. The Curie temperature of a metal is the temperature below which it demonstrates what property? Magnetism? Uh, yeah. Magnetism? I feel bad because I've said um, it and I'm not the science person. Is it superconductivity? Is it... No, I think it's magnetism. Okay, go for magnetism. Magnetism? magnetism? I'll accept magnetism. It's ferromagnetism. It will take that. Second, magnetite is a naturally occurring oxide compound, or ferrite, that demonstrates magnetic properties. What is the chemical formula of magnetite? 
F203. Bad luck. We would have accepted FE203, but you said F203, so we can't accept that. I'm so sorry. <gasps> oh, my God, I'm so sorry. Next question. Apart from some rare earth elements, iron and two other period four metals are the only pure elements that display ferromagnetic properties. Which two metals are these? Nickel and cobalt. Nickel and cobalt. Yeah. That? Yeah. Nickel and cobalt. That's right. Yeah. Let's have a picture around then. For your picture starter, you will see a painting. For ten points, name the artist. Franz Church Watson. El Greco. It is correct. That is El Greco. <laughs> Following on from El Greco's burial of the Count of Orgaz, your picture bonuses are three more artworks depicting funerals. Name the artist in each case. First, from the 1730s. Oh, is that um? Would that be? Hogarth. Hogarth? Maybe, I'm not sure. Uh, William Hogarth? It is, yeah, the Price. funeral, plate six of the Harlot's Progress. Secondly, this work of around 1850. Oh, this looks very familiar. Oh. Um, the Red Faces? Yeah, oh, might that be 1850? Yeah, I'm not sure, sorry. It's quite dark. It might be, I don't know, I wonder if it's in like, Goya. I don't know. Red Faces? Okay, try that. Um, Goya? No, it's Corbet. Gustave Corbet, the burial at Ornan. And finally, for the 1910s. This looks like the person who did the poster for the, um... Yeah, yeah, For the, yeah. the first slang film, but I don't know. Oh, um, I don't know the name of the, per the artist, though, you know. Um, German, I'm not sure like it, yeah. I don't know any, no? okay. any ideas. Come on. Guesses. Uh, yeah, we don't know. That's George Gross, the dedication to Oscar Panizza. The Call Me piece, Unity and Development Party, has held office since elections in 2010 in which de facto state, which is not formally recognised by any country. Its current president is Musay Bihi Abdi. Christchurch team. Somaliland? It is Somaliland, correct. <laughs> yes. Your three questions, Christchurch, are on the sociologist Max Weber. Referring to a political and economic system, what single word completes the title of Weber's major work, the Protestant ethic and the spirit of... Ethic and the spirit of... Isn't it capitalism? Yeah, right. I think. I'm not sure, though. Plausible, yeah. um, capitalism? Of course it is, yeah. Okay. Weber argued that the aim of sociology is interpretative understanding of social action to arrive at a causal explanation of its course and effects, meaning to understand what common German verb is used in sociology to refer to this approach. Verstehen is to understand in German. It might be that. I don't um, know. Nominate Dean. Verstehen. It is Verstehen. Originally meaning divinely conferred power or gift, the secular sense of which Greek-derived word is usually credited to Weber, who used it in his typology of authority. It now has a broad meaning of magnetic charm or appeal. So what was the first thing? What does it mean? Um, divine order, like senate. Oh, I'm not sure. Um, Come on. Um, we're not sure. Charisma. Oh, Charisma. Just under five minutes to go. Plenty of time, Southampton. See if you can get going again with this. Gilbert Stewart in 1797, John Singer Sargent in 1903, and Kahinde Wiley in 2018 are among notable artists who have been commissioned to paint what ah. official... Friends Church Watson. President of the United States. I can accept that, yes. Presidential portraits, yes. Yeah, accept that. Your bonuses then, Christ Church, are authors born in Ohio. In each case, name the person from the list of their works. First, an author born in 1974, whose works include Lagoon, Akata Witch, and the Binti series. Not Absolutely not clear. No. Um, Should we pass? Yeah. Uh, pass. It's Ndedi or Karafor. Secondly, a writer born in 1842 whose works include An Occurrence at Owl Creek Bridge, The Eyes of the Panther, and The Devil's Dictionary. Oh, this has come up. Um, yeah, yeah. It's actually Ohio. It's no, it's just like Johnson if you don't know anything. Mm. I'm not sure. Just, Johnson, just, maybe? Just, uh, Johnson. That's true, it's not Johnson, it's Pierce. <laughs> Finally, oh. an author born in 1931 who wrote Sula, Tar Baby, and God Help the Child. Oh, goodness. Um, no, uh, blanking a bit. Yeah, no. Uh, just kind of um, oh, Sula? Um, no, I don't know. Sorry. Come yeah, on. Pass again. So, it's Tony Morrison. Let's have another starter question. Gustav Kahn is amongst the early advocates of what 19th century innovation in poetic metre? It is composed of non metrical, non rhyming lines that follow the. Ah. Franz Church Dean! Blank verse. No, and I'm afraid you lose five points. Non-rhyming lines that follow the natural rhythms of speech. Southampton Harrington. Cadence. No, it's free verse. So another starter question. A three-letter abbreviation is enough for the points here. F. Sherwood Rowland, Mario Molina and Paul Crutzen received the 1995 Nobel Prize in Chemistry for their work on the action of which type of molecules on the atmosphere? Southampton Meredith. CFCs. It is CFCs, yeah. 
The Rebellion of Southampton are on pairs of words that differ only by the addition of the initial letters we or we. For example, stern and western. In each case, give both words from the description. First, a European capital on the river R, that's A A R E, and a fellow composer of Old Van Berg in the 12 tone Viennese school. Burn, I think. Burn. 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 And Vaban. Yeah. Vaban. Burn and Vaban. Correct. Second, the verb to be in Portuguese and Catalan, and the river that flows through Bremen in North Germany. Ser and Vessa. Ser and Vessa. Correct. A problem in philosophy and theology to which theodicy is one response, and a large group of insects, sometimes known as snout beetles, including several species that damage crops. Evil, Evil and weevil. weevil. Evil and weevil. Evil and weevil is correct. Plenty of time for you, Skill Salon, for just under three minutes. Another starter question here. Which leading figure of early Tudor England did a contemporary describe as the Right Reverend Cardinal, in all whom the whole power of the state is really lodged? It's Southampton Wickram, a singer. Wolsey. It is Wolsey, yep, correct. <laughs> Three questions for you on the history of cereal crops. Which modern cereal was developed by a process of selective breeding from the wild grass, Tio Sinte? What's the type of cereal? Like maize. Wheat. Maize? Maize. Correct. Which crop was domesticated independently twice from the plant known binomially as Oryza rufi pogon about 10,000 years ago and on a different continent from Oryza bathi? Rice. Rice, correct. Emma and einkorn are two of the first variants of what cereal crop to be domesticated? Any other ones? Millet? Yeah, Millet? No, it's wheat. It's another starter question. In 1986, the environmentalist Jay Vestervelt coined what term to refer to a form of corporate disinformation defined by the OED as the ah. false... Re Price Church Watson. Greenwashing. It is greenwashing, correct. <laughs> the bonuses are on the Renaissance physician Girolamo Fracastoro. Fracastoro became an early proponent of a germ theory of disease while serving as a professor at the university in which Italian city? In a Shakespeare play, Petruchio arrives in the same city seeking a wife. Petruchio. Tamer of the Shrew. Which, which play? Bologna, maybe? There's a university Bologna? there, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Uh, Bologna? No, it's Padua. A portrait of Fracastoro by which artist was rediscovered in the collection of the National Gallery in 2013? His other works in the National Gallery include Bacchus and Ariadne and Diana and Acteon. Oh, my uh, gosh. Who paints on mythological scenes? Um, um, so, oh, uh, I'm not sure it's all right. <laughs> it was Titian and Apagon. Christ Church College, Oxford, have 180, and Triampton have 155. I thought you were going to pull off the most incredible, incredible recovery. I was almost rooting for you <laughs> towards the end because you did make the most amazing comeback. Christchurch, you just about squeeze it out. Well done. How are you? Happy? Yeah. Relief? Yeah. 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 Excitement? Well, I think 180 is a very respectable score, as is 155. Uh, well done. You're through to the next round. I hope you can join us next time for another first round match. But until then, it's goodbye from Southampton University. Goodbye. Bye. It's goodbye from Christchurch College, Oxford. Bye. Bye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye.